Hi, this is Mike Spivey with Spivey Consulting Group. I'm going to do a brief five-minute podcast on a question we get often. It was posed yesterday online. Do I need to talk about why law school if I'm applying to law school? And like so many questions, not only in law admissions, but in, um, in the law in general, the, the, the answer is, well, it depends. Let me give you those scenarios. But first, the question that was asked yesterday is, is illustrative of a point. The person who asked it referenced a personal statement we have on our website, which talks about someone learning to ride a bicycle as an adult. The reason why that personal statement and the seven or eight others are on our website is because the applicant punched well above her numbers, um, much higher than we expected, and there was there are reasons in the application for that that made her stand out. In this case, she did not have to talk about why law. Her personal statement was on learning to uh, ride a bicycle as a 23, 24-year-old. She was given a bike twice as a gift from her parents as a child and both times refused to get on it categorically. When she took a job at Google, her entire team or most of her team, she saw rode their bicycles to work. So she got <laughs> she bought a bike and, you know, on a top of a hill, flop down the hill to teach herself how to ride a bike. The neighbors were laughing, etc. It really was a memorable personal statement, but here's the point. Her job at Google, her resume, her experience, and the work she was doing all led to a natural progression of why she was applying to law school. So it made sense. I love this story because I remember exactly where I was when I called her after she submitted all of her applications and I think mid to late September, and I told her I thought she was going to get a lot of wait lists. She was going to have to wait because she didn't have a high LSAT, was a reverse splitter. Oftentimes, those applicants have to wait a good while. Well, I was wrong, and, and she got in. I can't remember the exact numbers, but almost every school she applied to initially, and I remember the phone calls when she would call me and tell me she had been admitted, and we would make fun of me for being so wrong. But here's the point, context is king. If you want to be in that stage of getting lots of initial admits, if the school asks for a why law, then give them one. It doesn't have to be two pages, but, but tie it into your personal statement if they ask in the personal statement instructions. If the school does not ask for a why law, but you know your application points in, in entirely uh, not in that direction. If you're a physics major who interned with NFL films over the over two summers, whose entire two-page personal statement was on tra trail running, then you know some schools, and you want to appeal to every school you apply to, are going to say, "Well, you know, where's the connection?" Law school beats people up. Ten years of practicing law knocks a lot of people out. So we need we need to see a connection. But it, look, if you're a physics major, there's probably a reason intellectual property that brings you to law school. So you could mention that in your personal statement. If you're a, a, a intern twice for NFL films, entertainment law might, might make a lot of sense. If I'm a trail runner, I could easily tie trail running into some of my aspiration for why law. I literally just did a, a podcast on my other blog, Spivey blog about trail running and perseverance. So I could talk about wanting to help people persevere through their obstacles and advocating for others that brings me to law. None of those would be a, a two-page personal statement entirely about why law, but they would, through my self-reflection, they would end in the direction of, this is why I'm applying to law school. That would make sense. So to, to summarize, and it's a very simple summary, you don't have to talk about why law if your application brings the file reader to that conclusion. You probably want to mention in some part, part of the application process why law if there's nothing in the application that points in that direction. I'm going to end on one warning, and I'll use myself as an example. You read a lot of very aspirational personal statements when you're in admissions, and um, that, that's great. I mean, it's great that people have have uh, aspirations. Aspirations versus ambitions are, to me, sort of keep me young at heart when I hear people's aspirations. What you don't want to do is write two pages on a very specific, I want to go to law school because of a this 
hyper remote reason that's unlikely. And I'll, I'll get, again, I don't want to point anyone out, even in the slightest of, uh, of ways, but we've read so many of these. I talked to my business partners this morning, but so I'll use myself as an example. When I was um, at Vanderbilt undergraduate, I at some point interviewed with the CIA and they asked me one question, how many languages do you speak? How many foreign languages do you speak? And the answer was, you know, beginner one, Deutsch. So they, the, then they ended the interview and they said, go to law school. Great. If I wrote two pages in my personal statement of, I want to go to law school because I want to work for the CIA, that is why law, that would, best case scenario, be a great detraction to some ad comms, at least some. They've either heard it before or it's just too fantastical and you know I've watched too many Jason Bourne movies, etc. So reflection is the key to a personal statement. If you're reflecting on why law versus lecturing for two pages why you're going to be something for sure, the reflection on why law is what's going to win the day. I hope this was clear. I hope it makes sense. Uh, we have many examples, as, as I alluded to, some with why law, some uh, without, on our uh, blog at spiveconsulting.com. <laughs>